So, Luigi, ready for some more racing action? Um, yes, absolutely, Piglet, absolutely. Hey, what is up, ladies and gentlemen? I'm Luigi here, and I'm Piglet here. We are back for some more of the Maxi Toys videos, and ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my last play of Mario Kart Wii for the Nintendo Wii. So last time we did explore through, um, we did manage to finish up with Star Cup, and now we're going to be continuing on and move on to the Special Cup, the last major cup in the particular, um, you know, normal track cups in Mario Kart Wii. So, and afterwards, then we're pretty much going to be moving on to the retro tracks. Even then, though, that, um, you know, as you probably expect it from ever since Mario Kart DS, and you know the jazz. So, even then, though, let's get this thing started, shall we? See, so even then, though, the first thing we'd like to point out, though, is that it has been a quite a few months since we actually last time recorded this. I think last time we actually did use is actually, um, Luigi here, in this case yourself, in your forms of the Star Cup. And I believe for this next character we're going to be using for this video, and I believe we're going to be using is... Yoshi! Alright then, Yoshi takes the win. So even then, uh, let's go for the vehicles wise that uh, we haven't normally used cars that much, but even then though, that... Um, well, as far as I'm aware, because I'm not very used to with cards in this game anymore, because I was so used to with cards in 7 and Mario Kart 8, so that's the main suggestions on my ads. So even then, though, that I might as well actually go for a uh, Rapid. So even then, though, that, um, you know, another bike-type vehicles around here. And of course, the, um, the cup we're going to be exploring for today is the forms of the special cups. So even then, though, this could be ranged from Dry Dry Ruins, Moonview Highway, Bowser's Castle, and finally, Rainbow Road. Of course, there's a damn Rainbow Road in every single final tracks in the entirety of the Mario Kart franchise. At least expecting they're only including eight Mario Kart games. Well, at least technically for the arcade machines. Well, there wasn't any Rainbow Roads in the uh, Mario Kart um, Arcade GPDX though, for some reason though. But um, hopefully they'll get a chance of it one day. Well, it may be for sure. So here we go, on to the first track in Special Cup, which is the forms of Dry Dry Ruins. Which, from the looks of it, it's kind of like, um, Dry Dry Desert from Mario Kart Double Dash, except that, uh, well, obviously it's on the Wii. And plus, not to mention, though, no, uh, double characters into their one cart. And also, while well, it still has the, um, pillars that you need to actually just to worry about, but except the fact that you can now actually perform tricks onto those pillars now. So, Fernando, that should be pretty, um, worth mentioning. So, um, as far as you already know, that Special Cup is definitely one of the tougher tracks, or in this case, the tougher cups in the game. But, um, honestly, I don't find it to be quite challenging. The only thing that's kind of challenging for, for me, though, is the forms of, as far as we already mentioned this about, you know, a couple of amount of times, which is the forms of the rubber banding AI, which can be really gets on my nerves at times, which you can end up, oh, speaking of a devil. Ah, it gets shrinked. So, um, yeah, uh, uh, let's just get into the, um, the, um, the discussion is about today, folks. It's the fact that, um, one thing that me and Mario haven't mentioned about this and during the likes of Super Mario Bros. 3 playthrough, especially noticeable in Super Mario All-Stars Let's Play, that gradually me and Mario did manage to finish that completely. Um, we haven't sort of mentioned about this, is that, uh, recently that Sega did announce there's gonna be a, f uh, free download from new forms of Sonic the Hedgehog to Christian Whitehead version. Because of this, um, recently, that during a couple of days ago, is the forms of Sonic's tw uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 2 25th anniversary during a couple of days ago. Which to me is like a really cool thing, because even then though, considering in the last year, that's the forms of how the fact that the first ever Sonic the Hedgehog game did came out in uh, 1991. So even then though, last year we've got the 25th anniversary of Sonic the Hedgehog himself as well as the game itself, from the likes of the Mega Drive when it first started at all. Well, it is excluding for the Game Gear and uh, Master System as well, so... Yeah, and as a result though, is that, um... You know, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, original release on that game, is now 25 years old, so I can't believe it's been now so old. Yeah, and not to mention that um, Disney's Aladdin from 1992 film was also 25 years old, so you can end up that I just really can't believe how days themselves can go really fast and then just like, you know, um, this could be going pretty over quite sooner or later. But I don't know, usually think. 
So yeah, um, basically that how the fact that I was really surprised how the fact that between Sonic the Hedgehog 1 and Sonic the Hedgehog 2, the re-release version on the iPhone versions of the game, uh, basically they've now become free to download now. So because as a result, thanks to Sega Forever, um, you know, database, they did now ma manage to make Sonic 2 as a free download, so no longer gonna have to pay for those, uh, money for kinds of stuff. The only time you do need to pay for money, though, is in forms of removing those adverts every like, once in a while, which, again, is a little bit too much of a nitpick, that's, that's just how you expect it. Alright, here we go, folks, on to the second track in Special Cup in Mario Kart Wii, which is perhaps is one of the, one, one of my least favorite tracks in the game, Moonview Highway. For the love of God, I absolutely hate this track so much. Because the reason being for that is because it because it feels like the equivalent combination of both, I would say, Toad's Turnpike from Mario Kart 64. In addition to that though, it's basically more likely equivalent to Mushroom City from Mario Kart Double Dash, but except the fact that I found Mushroom City to be quite an enjoyable course to begin with and as well as the um, Toad's Turnpike, but I say that the reason why I felt like the this track feels exactly, almost exactly similar to the combination of, you know, both uh, Toad's Turnpike and as well as Mushroom City, because for one thing, it's all a nighttime setting from the city um, location, and at the same time for Toad's Turnpike is that these vehicles will come, drove right towards you, and even especially noticeable you don't want to get hit by these vehicles, because if you can tell already, that's uh, much like how it does in Toad's Turnpike, and even Mushroom City as a result. If you get hit by these vehicles right there, um, you get flattened, and also you might as well lose your, lose your items. Even then though, that is by far the most annoying track in the entire game, because not only are you going to have to go through all that uh, track design, well, at least it's kind of simple, but even then though, one of the more annoying, irritating parts about this track, to me though, is it forms of that how the fact that you can get hit by a lot, I mean a lot of vehicles in this place actually offers. Which even then though, that can really bug me off of, at one point or another. And also, you know these um, bomb cards, the bomb cards, they usually make this appearance ever since. Um, I can assume Mario Kart Double Dash, even. So even then though, that much like on that game, that um, if, you get, if you get touched by the, uh, the bomb cards. Oh yeah, excluding the likes of Mario Kart 64, for only in multiplayer and battle mode. Um, you can basically get, get yourselves exploded, and you also lose your items, so... Yeah, definitely one of my least favorite tracks in the game, because you can definitely you can get hit by a lot of vehicles. And plus, not to mention, if you get yourselves hit by the yellow car, as you can see in a couple of seconds ago, that uh, we did fluke out, so you can end up, that can get really irritating at times, which you can end up, that, um, you know, as far as you might as well actually just trying to figure this out, though, but that's just how it is for me. Yeah, but that's besides the point, so... But uh, at least we actually become number one here, as we expect this, even then, though, no, not too shabby. But again, if you have a first time playing for this particular game, even especially noticeable that, um... If you already picked this up in during the, um... During the, um, the retail stores, or anything else for that desirable, Grantly though, that this game does, does never seem to have sold the re-release on the Wii U, unfortunately. But, um, if you have a first time playing for this game, especially in that level case, uh, you're gonna get hit by the vehicles a lot. Even 450cc, and even mirror mode, as a result, can get pretty chaotic. So, yeah, that's the only thing I need to point things out. Alright, third track in, um, Special Cup, and now forms of, as you expected, Bowser's Castle. Which, from the looks of it, it kind of reminds me of almost related to Mario Kart Double Dash in variation, but except that, um, obviously the major difference is that the bridge itself is now replaced as a giant ramp you can able to actually jump off of. So, yeah, it, it kind of reminds me of that. And plus, in addition to the little, um, Mario Kart symbol onto the soul start and finish lines, so... Yeah, for Bowser's Castle in this installment, then the likes of how it does in Double Dash, and especially in Mario Kart DS, and even especially noticeable that there's too many variations in- WHAT?! WHY DOES IT TARGET ON US?! Target on the first place, damn it. Ah, uh, you see what I mean about this little rubber banding AI sometimes, is that, you know, they're always trying to desperately want to get these, uh, more effective items, whatever they needed to. I can't believe that since we're still in second place, but I'm pretty sure because of how the programs usually developed, of how the fact that since we immediately in first place already from the get-go, and then next thing you notice that we guess, I guess we just got hit. 
Yeah, I know, it's really unfair though, really. But that's just how it is for me. So yeah, uh, there's some tons of ways you can actually perform yourselves in tricks and what have you, but um, before warning, I have to point things out the right way, is that the tricks momentum, especially in this game's case, is not that perfect in my opinion, because if you're trying to perform yourselves a trick, especially if especially those of you actually using the Wii Emote all by itself, um, your momentum will actually just stay put, which even then though, ah, oh, did not meant to do a wheelie, dang it! Hey. But, um, I found the fact that if you if you manage to flick the um the wheel mouse in the corresponding direction, um, you can't really change the direction while you're mid air. So even then, though, that um, you need to able to actually just to cope with it and hope for hope for God forbid, trying to able to land on that safest road, or even especially noticeable if you don't want to fall into the pit. In this case, a lava pit, for example. And I highly suggest you don't do it performing tricks too many times because too many times I found myself just managed to like fall down in the level significantly, which even then though, that can really kick me off the most. But that's just how do I think. Alright, so apart from that though, um... I guess there's not much else to say. Well, besides the worst defender about today, it was actually bombs off. Unfortunately though, the Emoji movie on the DVD is just came out today, which I thought was like... That. That I might add. Yeah, because that film's terrible. It's such a rip-off to the likes of... Well, at least I, I stick with um, Record Ralph because it's interesting. And also Inside Out, which I found... Um, yeah, for Inside Out and the Lego Movie, that I always do re recommend those three films. Except the Emoji Movie, because that film's a total piece of crap. I'm sorry. I'm, I just... I think it's, I think when we get to the actual um, ending point of 2017 at this point, that we can actually discuss upon the overall of 2017 as to offer. Even especially noticeable when it's like Christmas is almost getting close. Oh uh, yeah, exactly. But that's just way you're trying to able to be planning out, but hey, uh, at least as far as it will go. So yeah, for Bowser's Castle, I actually do really enjoyed this version of Bowser's Castle because well, it does have a pretty cool half pipe right there, just like how it does in DK Snowboard Cross. But yeah, that's just all I, that's just all we can think. So, of course, you know there are some tons of hazard, hazards here and there, like lava, swamps, and fireballs included this time. Well, technically, fireballs did make an appearance ever since uh, Mario Kart Double Dash, even. But they all uh, swing, or in this case, they usually move from horizontal position. And um, yeah, as far as I can really think. Alright folks, here we are on to the Wii version of Rainbow Road. Some people usually think that this is probably is the most tougher Rainbow Road in the entirety of the Mario Kart series. Which, I honestly think this is actually really great when it comes to the Rainbow Road. This is where how Mario Kart 8's Rainbow Road should be like this. At least for the 8th installment, because the only thing is the only too blander about Mario Kart 8 version of Rainbow Road is that it feels a little bit too generic. Yeah, which, because all it gets is it's basically just, um, electronic road with just rainbow effects, which I believe it's not as, like, rainbowy effectively compared to how it does it in this particular game, and especially Mario Kart 7 version, but yeah, that's just, that's just besides the point. But yeah, what's, what makes it so cool about Mario Kart Wii's version of Rainbow Road is that, as you can see, some of the elements, especially with these launch star icons, are heavily similar to the ones in the likes of the... The game did manage to came out um, after, or in this case before this game, was the forms of Super Mario Galaxy, because Super Mario Galaxy did came out in 2007. Which, you know, gradually that game is now 10 years old. Jesus Christ, 10 years old! Gee, I wonder what it could do next, Mario Kart 8? Gee, no wonder how until next year that Mario Kart Wii is going to be making its way until 10th year anniversary on that game. Yeah, especially Super Smash Bros. Brawl, and even especially No Spawn Mario Super Sluggers, Warrior Land to Shake Dimension, and I think that's all I can think about this. Well, besides the, um, oh, how do I slip off? Okay, I did not expect that. Um, what else is the 10th year anniversary until next year? Um, Oh yes, Sonic Unleashed for the Wii, uh, Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, and PlayStation 2. And, um, I'm assuming, um, oh, you got to be kidding me, double own it. Hey, 
how embarrassment. Um, I'm trying to think of something else. Um, perhaps, maybe, um, I think that's what I can think of. Yeah, I was thinking of the same thing as you are going to say, though. Oh, yeah, Wally from the film itself. Yeah, from the Pixar film. Yeah, granted, though, because even then, though, it doesn't... You know, sometimes it does have talking, speaking of characters as far as I'm aware, but the main characters doesn't have uh, have ability to speak properly. But even then, that's besides the point. But even then, no, I don't mind about it too much. But that's just how we think. So anyways. So yeah, some people usually think they always hated Rainbow Road in this installment. It's probably because there's pretty lack of guard um, guardrails, which, you know, very much like how it does in any other Rainbow Roads in Mario Kart, obviously. Because, you know, this is predictably one of the challenging courses in the entirety of Mario Kart Wii. Yeah, but because, you know, you're going to have to be very cautious and be careful. Even with motion controls being added, which even then, though, as you can see, that we've almost slimmed off by the edge of the ramp. So even then, though, that if we manage to perform ourselves a little bit of a carefully tilting controls as involved, then we pretty much guarantee we get ourselves a gloriously ultimate victory. So yeah, how about that? So yeah, let's see the uh, the award ceremony for the special cup in the forms of Mario Kart Wii. Even though sadly we haven't talked too much besides the, how the uh, the courses themselves handles. So let's see who the current results are. So third place goes to Waluigi, and um, second place goes to Bowser, and number one of course is Yoshi. So yay, so happy. Yep, exactly, for surely. So I believe we're actually on the halfway point of that particular cups department in Mario Kart Wii. Even then though, that uh, when we cut this off screen, that we can hopefully guarantee we can able to get through everything, like all the cups and everything, so we might as well have to do that. So even then, let's see what results we've got. Two stars, how about that? I'm presuming because we're pretty much expert at this at this point, so even then though, what could it possibly go a little bit better than that? So, yeah, tune us next time on Let's Play Mario Kart Wii. It's the fact that we're going to be starting things off with the Retro Cups department, starting with Shell Cup. So, see you guys next time. Later, fellas. See you guys then.